All right, it's another day, and I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. Moving my uh, clays to where I, you know, can see them right behind me here, um, in the position where they are, has opened up this area, and uh, people can see what I'm doing and see my work. They didn't see that before, and uh, because it was all closed in. But anyway, let's get busy on this clay and see how far I get today. Time to play with some clay. Well, I made a mistake this morning. This uh, base needed to was starting to lift up off the uh, the board, and so I grabbed a piece of clay and I uh, swatched it onto the uh, bottom of this base to kind of anchor it down. And then I went to look for the face that I did yesterday, and it turns out it was a small swatch of clay that I just smashed on that uh, <laughs> base. So I'm gonna have to do that face again. That's okay. I'll uh, wait. I'll wait for a couple of days to do that. There's no big rush to uh, get his face done. I've done it once. I can do it twice. Anyway, I'm just gonna work a little bit on the saddle. I brought some material from house uh, on uh, mountain man saddles, and uh, I'll work that out and then put the figure on the uh, the horse. But. I've still got some stuff to do on the horse yet, too. All right, let's get busy on this horse and uh, see how far I can get today. I got so involved, I forgot to turn my camera on so I could video my making the uh, saddle. But what I did was I stuck a piece of metal like I did uh, with the uh, cowboy with the steer and uh, for the uh, horn of the saddle. It's a different style of status. It's a... Uh, early 1800s uh, uh, Spanish type saddle and uh, it has a real narrow fork in the uh, front part of the saddle and a wide horn wide round horn You can see the uh, armature I made on this side. All right, I'm just gonna put the cantle on the saddle. Now it's a different cantle than the, uh, the Western saddle that I did last time. Not quite as high. And it has uh, holes in the back of the uh, cantle. The, tie things on the saddle with. I'll get to that eventually, if not right now. I may have to move that back a little bit. That's true. I used to have a lot of Now this saddle won't have as much of a skirt, a leather skirt as the uh, western saddle. Uh, it's a little more uh, to the bone as far as uh, the construction of it.
Now I'm going to put a fur on this saddle, and uh, that's something they would do, as well as have a blanket underneath the saddle. It just made it more comfortable to ride. All right, I'm putting a blanket underneath the saddle, and I'm just lining it up with the uh, other side that I've got a blanket on, and. Uh, try to uh, connect the two. I'm going to put a bear skin on his uh, saddle, but I need a blanket under the saddle. Let's see about where I've got the end of that saddle. Okay, I got it. There. That's the beginning of the blanket. I'm running out of clay. Now I gotta put the skin on the saddle. I think what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna put a couple of straps to the uh, stirrups. Are you Dave Lemon on uh, Oh, YouTube? give me a break. You're that Dave Lemon guy on YouTube, right? I watch you all the time. Will you go away? Shake my hand. No, You're like a celebrity. Yeah, I have to wash my hand afterwards, though. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, bear skin on now. And, uh, I gotta work fast and put some kind of fur texture in. I'm gonna use a pencil and see what I can get. Um, 
I'm going to put a blanket on the back. So I'm not going to worry about that part. But the uh, part that I want to worry about is the part that's surrounding the saddle right now. I'll come back when I get this uh, textured in. You're going to be around for the fourth? Yeah, yeah, actually, I just came out of the mountains for the road. Oh, okay, stuff. well, you'll enjoy the parade. I already piled up the groceries and all that stuff. And all that. Yeah, it's a good thing because it's going to be very tough to get in that store after That's a while. That's why I came down this morning. Well, yesterday I gave up my camping spot to some folks that have been using it for 27 years, mm -hmm. locals out of Alder. And then I drove around looking for a camping spot for the rest of the day. And I said, okay, just go to town and enjoy the road. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like it's crowded. I have a good one. You, you too. All right, I got the uh, outer part of the saddle on, I mean, the blanket on this side. Now I just got to do it on the other side. Sorry, I get to talking to people and I forget to hit the can't record button. All right, that's going to be it for today. Um, I've just about come to my limit. I didn't do too much because I did a lot more talking today than I have in the last couple. But uh, we'll get back on it tomorrow. And I'll see you guys next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.